Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna make a vlog style video just cause I got a bunch of little projects I'm working on today. And uh, so first thing I'm gonna work on, I gotta pull these tail lights off of this 67 Galaxy. Sold them to a gentleman in Australia actually. So gotta ship them. Uh, luckily that's through the eBay international shipping program so I don't have to do anything particular about it. eBay handles the international stuff. Um, Galaxy, y'all haven't seen it since I got exhaust on it. I have uh, taken it on a few drives around town, going to get food and stuff like that. The front end needs a rebuild bad. I mean, all the rubber bushings are shot on it. But we're going to do a cold start real quick. I've already got my parts for that front end rebuild. going to do that when I have some time early in July. going to have a week off of work that I can dedicate a few days to it. So this thing, I got quiet mufflers on there, so don't expect anything loud. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump it a couple times. I don't have the choke uh, connected right now, or I have it adjusted all the way open. So as you can see, it's nice and quiet. got quiet mufflers that's what I wanted so I'm happy with it so this thing's good to go except for the front end suspension oh and I got to put a brake light switch on it for some reason my brake lights don't work every all my other lights do work though so just got to figure that one out So I'm gonna go ahead and get these tail lights pulled over here. So an update on the old F-150 over here. It uh, needs some work right now. It's not staying cool. The radiator or something's not doing well. I mean, it's it's all right if as long as you're not sitting still in traffic, which you know there's probably 15 feels like traffic lights between here and where I live. So it's nothing but stop and go and i want this thing to be reliable in traffic i don't want to be nervous about the the uh watching the temperature gauge so i've decided to put an upgraded radiator in it and while i'm in it i'm going to replace the water pump and and the uh radiator hoses one of them had a rub mark on it like it was getting thin so i went ahead and bought one um i don't think i've done an update i put radiator or i put fans electric fans on the condenser to try to help the air condition and stop and go traffic that's more so for the air condition not really for the radiator and i got a little switch here controlling it what else have i done i replaced the struts in my toolbox so that's handy those were like 12 dollars on ebay The freeze plug in the back of the head I have, I don't think I've talked about, has left me stranded in this truck a couple times. And my plan now is to not use those little rubber plugs. The problem is that plug isn't seating all the way. When I use one of those rubber expansion plugs, the kind with the, um, the stud, the nut, and it squeezes the rubber and makes it expand outward. It doesn't seat all the way in there because there's a casting in the head uh, excuse me, the uh, ambulance. There's a casting in the head that that thing's hitting. So it's not seating all the way and they pop out every so often. So it's annoying me. But I'm kind of to the point where I'm tired of, of that happening. And I'm willing to look into the possibility of cutting the firewall and uh, tapping in a plug the correct way and not have that issue anymore. So that's where I'm at right now. So I want to have the flush the cooling system and replace those parts. I've got a three row aluminum radiator coming in to replace the one core or one row radiator. So it should be good. I've also got fuel pumps I got to put in there at some point. Just whenever I have the time. So 
I need to get these tail lights pulled right now though. Might as well do an update on these two vehicles. The Scout I haven't done anything with except put the roof on it. I'm keeping myself from getting it deep into this. Um, I'm making myself wait until I get the Galaxy good to go. So that's kind of where I'm at with this one. I messed with it. I uh, started filming a first start video and got to a point where I was confident I can get it running. Um, haven't gotten it running yet. I think i uh, going to have to throw a little bit of money at it to get it to run good. But got to do some more diagnosing before I do that. And my dad's old F350 here has a flat tire. His brand new tire went flat. We've got to figure out why we're going to unbolt the wheel, take it to the tire shop, let them trouble shoot it because they installed it for us not long ago um, and the truck pulls really hard to the left when you're driving and you know on two lane road that's pulling you right into oncoming traffic so that's kind of unnerving I'm thinking that over here on the the brakes are not working or they're just misadjusted because it seems like the front left is doing more pretty much all the braking and the front right is doing none of it so we're gonna get that figured out lots of projects but I'm gonna get these tail lights pulled gotta ship these as well these are the original scuff plates for my 66 Galaxy I uh, had bought a nicer set so I used those these will still clean up pretty good for somebody and be usable alrighty got the tail lights boxed up ready to print a label same with the uh trim got a bunch of hard foam in there so that should ride all the way to australia no problem so guys the uh, last part of this vlog is going to be what i do for a living um, which is engraving so this is a shop this is uh my family's business we've been in business since the 70s uh, my grandfather started it so we're a mom and pop shop and we've been incredibly busy since COVID, as you can imagine, uh, doing headstones and such. But today I'm working on these columbarium covers. These uh, you'll see at churches that have, you know, columbariums, which is where you have these marking the niches. And the niches are where you put your or the ashes of your loved one. So... I'm engraving these. We've got a lot of them. I've got like 12 inscriptions to do on 11 panels. They're kind of spread out all over the shop right now. But um, I'm going to see if I can get all of them done. And also got a couple footstones over here. This uh, little office over here, we just had built. And I'm excited about it. It's going to be my dad's new office, but it's going to give us some more air conditioned space. <coughs> But they literally finished this yesterday, got it painted. I'm really happy with the job that the contractor did. I don't even know if he's a contractor, but he's a he's a guy that we hired to do it. He did a great job. Got a window unit, keeping it cool in here. And then uh, that was the shop bathroom. As you can see, it's all dirty and dusty, but we're gonna get this cleaned up and looking better. But this is the shop. So I'm going to get started on these inscriptions. And if I get all of what I've already talked about done, I get to work on some more and letter this uh, 10 inch bevel marker. So talk to you all in a minute. Here's an example of one of the stencils we use. This is just kind of a rubber stencil with adhesive on the back of it. We take this clear plastic off. And stick it on the stone. I'm also going to put a little glue on the stone just to make sure everything sticks. But this is how we engrave stuff. And as you can see, here's a previous engraving. That's not very deep at all. We call that skin deep. So basically just deep enough to get good definition of your letters. Because that silver litho, uh, silver paint, litho is, we call it lithochrome. It's, I think that's the brand name of it. That silver doesn't reflect light good if you get it deep, too deep, you know? So we try to get it skin deep, so. Alrighty. So my battery cut out there, but the best way I've seen to get hard water stains out of granite like this is uh, 
some wax right here, some polish. I actually bought this for the Galaxy, but I used it on a piece of uh, stone a while back that was a good uh, test piece. And I was happy with it. It got some stains out that we had uh, tried acid, we had tried bleach, we had tried all sorts of things and couldn't get the stains out. We actually had a big uh, upright tablet um, that we got for a discount because the manufacturer couldn't get the stain out and then I put some of this quick glow on it and it came right out so let's do a little test right here dip a little bit in here let's see if I want to go ahead and get this cleaned up before I stencil it It'll be easier to clean before it's lettered. Now I'm just taking the dry rag, getting the excess off. As you can see, I've just about got it. I think I need to touch up a couple spots, but It works really good. So I'm going to get on to it. Here's one I just painted. Got a couple over here. Everything turned out good on them. I'll show you some that I've already cleaned up. Still gotta weigh these and uh, get shipping labels for them. Got this footstone done. Looks real nice. Here's some that I have already cleaned up. This is the inscription I've done today. Sullivan there. Everything's looking good. So, appreciate you guys uh, sticking to the end of the video. I'm trying to experiment with some different video uh, ideas. So, appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.